Hi, Jesse. Hi, good morning, Kelly. Good morning. Well, here's our another um, podcast with Kelly and Jesse today, and we are going to be doing the inventory tool today on our podcast. Yeah, lots of changes in the past few releases. Um, some updates to make it a little smoother and then some updates that have changed some behaviors um, in the inventory tool. So uh, we've had quite a few questions from our partners. So this is a good one to cover. Yeah, great. Okay, so I'm going to pop over to our tool section where our inventory is, Jesse. Okay. And then we're gonna hit the inventory module. And um, so Tori module, we're actually gonna use a barcode file to do our inventory. And this is with the understanding that we went into our stacks and we went ahead and scanned a section of our library and saved that as a barcode file. Excellent. Always two ways to do it, so we'll start with the phase one. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and in this barcode file, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a file. I'm gonna grab this barcode TXT file. Now I have a few options. Um, first, I can set my inventory date to whatever date that I decide, whether I'm gonna say that's today, or if I scanned it yesterday, I could always do yesterday's date, whatever, I, whatever I'd like here. <coughs> Excuse me. And it will like, always populate today's date. It will always put that date last seen as the date that we're setting this inventory date to. Our next um, option is we have compare barcode list to results and we have found that this is really really helpful is if you were to use a barcode file as well as work in conjunction to a list results so if I choose this option then I'm going to say that I went over to a specific section and scanned that section in our case we used the course reserve section but I also want to see what else I have in my Koha system that is in that section. So I wanna take my barcode file and compare it to what Koha has in my course reserves. And, and this is definitely one of the bigger changes that you'll notice in the inventory tool. Um, if you like to compare those lists, you know, see if you scan something that was either missing and is now there or was lost and now found, you definitely wanna select that checkbox. Um, another big key part of this um, portion of the inventory is this next one. Do not check in items scanned during inventory. So even if, if I did this at nine o'clock last night, this inventory, and then this morning I go ahead and do this, I still probably wanna check this box to make sure nothing is checked in. Now, go ahead, Jesse. I just wanna say this, this again, this is another big change. Mm -hmm. So, um, if you don't use that checkbox, so if you don't select that, um, the items get checked in, but there's no longer a pop-up or a notification letting you know that those items got checked in. In prior releases, we'd get that beautiful yellow box that said, you know, these items have been checked in. So, you know, that was kind of a reminder for staff to say, you know, let me go check on that item, or um, let's say some fines were assessed because the item was still, you know, checked out to the patron and now it's found and it, it was in fact in here, you know, it was nice to get that warning. So that is one thing that you will not notice anymore. Right. If you don't check that box. So, <laughs> so I am going to check the box so we can see um, if there are any things that are checked out that I had scanned, but maybe got checked out after I did my little um, um, inventory. Okay, the next section we have is item location filters. And like I said, with this compare barcode list to results, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a location. I'm gonna choose a location of course reserves because I wanna actually see again, what is not, what did I not scan in this section? And then I'm gonna go ahead and now you also have, in addition to shopping location, if you wanted to do a call number range, so say you didn't get to do a whole section of a specific shelving location, but you know you did call number between 641.5 and 6.41.8, um, then you can go ahead and do that because we know we have big sections sometimes in those shelving locations. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit, Jesse. All right, excellent.
Okay, here we go. Perfect. So actually, um, we have our first one, planning and role setting for public libraries. It said that this was not scanned, so maybe it's missing in my um, inventory. So this is something I could go and look for, make a note in that Koha and say that it's missing because I know that I definitely didn't scan it. Um, so I could actually do um, some proactive for looking for this title. And then my next um, title here, the Successful Library Trustee Handbook, is actually still checked out. So that did not get checked in when I, so I did something did get checked out after I did my little inventory. So I made sure that that's still checked out to the correct person and I have one item that's missing. Excellent. Yep. So that's a good way to do your inventory if you have that opportunity to go out and use a scanner um, and scan a specific section. Excellent. Okay. Now, one other um, key change that was that was made, um, and this kind of goes along with those notifications. Um, lost statuses do get removed. So let's say we scanned something that was marked lost. Um, what Koha will do is it will update that item, but we no longer get that alert. Again, remember we get that great yellow box similar to this number of potential barcodes read um, that would let us know that an item was updated and now Koha will just update that item. So those are two big changes um, that we have seen in the inventory tool. But overall, it has great functionality. It certainly does what we need it to do. We just needed to be aware of a couple different uh, modifications to this tool, but a great way to do some inventory. I will say one thing I have noticed is there's definitely a lot less clicks that we have to do than from <laughs> previous ones. So um, the process has definitely sped up. Yeah, great. Okay, well, thanks so much, Jesse. This is awesome. Okay, Kelly, I'll see you next week for okay. our second session on second. inventory. Yeah, perfect. Okay, have a great week, guys. Okay, thanks, Kelly. Bye. Bye.